Good morning and welcome to Meadowlands Farm. It is Wednesday, the 17th day of winter, and the fortune teller says, oh, the spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Queen of Sauce is a rerun, but I'm going to check it. Coleslaw, we already know. Okay. All right, the first thing I want to do is check to see if we have perch because I'm trying to build a smoker to get the smoked perch for the uh, the family that lives down at the stump. But yeah, perch is only available in winter. So even though I don't have the makings for it yet, I want to go catch that that fish. So, we have a couple things to do around the farm. Let's go pet our dog. I still have my watering can. So we'll give him some water. We will smelt some gold. Check the mail. Mayor Lewis, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently, packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the Community Center Bulletin. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. Oh, and we have more mail. Dink, sorry to bother you again, but I need another favor. I got a new hammer, and I want to try it on a variety of metals. Could you smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? Thanks, Clint. I will accept that because I have to go to Clint today and get my hoe. Oh, I was gonna I was just gonna looking for it to get these worms. I just said Clint has it, so I cannot do that. I'm gonna grab a couple of milks and a couple of eggs. forget how many egg mayo makers I have. I have four. Okay. All right, we'll go say hello to the animals. And, oh, I got a rabbit's foot. I think I said I wanted to put an egg in the incubator. So let me just look here for a second. Actually, let me go into the pet tab so that the clock isn't ticking. So I have three brown chickens, one white, one void. A dino. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could have two more things in here. I think I will make it a duck. So do I have a duck egg on me? Yeah, so I'm going to throw a duck egg in the incubator. Oh, what's this? Uh, good morning, Mr. Dink. I came by to ask you a favor, since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. Marnie looks much different now. Okay. I don't know why she was there when I came out of the barn, or the coop rather, instead of just like when I woke up in the morning. Okay, say hello to all my cows and goats and pigs. Maybe somebody will get pregnant and give birth soon. I'll put all these away. Let's sell some stuff. Oh. I guess we'll grab these powder melons while we're here.
Are these ready yet? Yeah, they are. Okay, we'll sell the gold and silver ones and keep the regular ones. Um, I'm going to hang on to the rabbit's foot for gifting. And holding on to the cheese for the mines. We'll sell the mayo. Okay, and those other things just need to be put away. Okay, I'm going to put the gold away since I'm leaving home. All right, so I have these blueberries and this sprinkler here. So that's reminding me that I wanted to plant the blueberries in the greenhouse. Just so that there's something growing in there while we're waiting for all of the ancient fruit to populate. I'm going to head to town and hopefully... Clint will be working today. Oh. All right, we have our cutscene for the community center since we had a surprise completion yesterday. Mayor Lewis says, I'm not sure how you did it, Dink, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Yay. <laughs> you received a Stardew Hero Trophy. Grumble, grumble. Who's that? Mars says, sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? All my customers here? This isn't good. Let's be reasonable. <laughs> it's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. Nope, not this time. Gather round, everyone. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It was a lot of fun. Willie, remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? That I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with him. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea, a crab leg feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. You see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Joe Jamark came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Dink, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Jojamart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who's with me?
I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. And everybody else joins in. I'm done for, Mara says. Morris and his Jojamart cronies were never heard from again. Okay. Um, so now I'm outside the community center, and I wanted to be outside Clint's. So let's run over there. Uh, let's see what this is first. Invasive craft species is living in the local mine, threatening the native wildlife. These creatures are known for disguising themselves as stones. I'll pay someone to slay two of them, Demetrius. I'll accept that because I do have to go to the mines anyway for the... Uh... Bug meat? Yeah, the bug meat quest. Okay, so there's the abandoned Joja Mart. Just check the garbage real quick before we go in. And we'll pick up our hoe. And I forgot to bring his iron bar. <laughs> okay, let me run back and do that. I have so much I want to do. And it's another festival day, so I'm feeling, like, kind of pressured. Okay, now that I have my hoe... Ooh! Two mystery boxes. Nice. Okay, so there's his iron bar. Um, first let me throw some things back in here. Alright, Gunther's seen that, right? Yeah. Okay, let me look at my tools and see what I want to do. Okay, I've got a steel axe. Okay, copper hoe. Gold pickaxe. I can't go to Iridium yet. I don't believe I have enough. I have four bars and four pieces of ore, so I can't quite do Iridium yet. Oh, there's the cave carrot for Marnie. I'm gonna grab a spicy eel. Ooh, and a, no, I'll grab the pumpkin soup. And pink cake. Because I might go down to the mines. Okay, um. Maybe I'll upgrade my axe. Oh, I only have two gold bars. Oh, now I have four. <laughs> well, so much for having what I need and getting another tool upgraded right away when I see Clint. All right, we'll just have to make another trip. I might not get the blueberries planted today. Okay, Clint, here's your iron bar. Okay, so I've got two days for the lava crab and five days for the bugs. 500 gold from Clint and Marnie. We'll take care of her maybe right now. Um, but first, I want to see what's in these mystery boxes. Eight parsnip seeds. Ooh, and ten hardwood. Okay. 
a crystal fruit. Um, I think I'll grab some coffee. And just run to Marnie rather than going back to the bus stop and grabbing my horse. Oh, we have another cutscene. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Dink. Oh, okay. It's just the uh, uh, cave carrot cutscene. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. I wonder why this is a cutscene instead of just handing it to her like I did with Clint. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Um, let me just check out the supply shop and see what's here. Auto grabber for 25,000. Doghouse for 10,000. I'm a little low on cash. Or I would think of buying some stuff, but I do want to get a dog house for my dog. Okay, let's get some of these spots. Found a lost book. It's Wednesday, so no traveling cart today. I feel like I need hardwood. Because I believe that I just got rid of all the hardwood I had. So I thought I would go to the mines today, but it looks like I don't have time. I really need to find some cave jelly in order to make that smoker. And where do I catch the perch? Is it here, I wonder? Got some powder melon seeds. Another lost book for the library. A winter root. Let me take care of these guys. Okay, I just had to go look up the perch, and it's not in this forest lake, it's in the other forest lake, or in a river, so I'm gonna try fishing in the river down here. wonder if Cinder Sap Forest counts as a forest lake. Is that a perch? Hey, it is. All right, great. I'm not going to mess around and try and catch a second one because hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'll get you your fish and your... Oh, he wants five periwinkle. I'm going to have to update my crab pots. Another lost book. And I did want to collect these mushrooms while I'm here. Ooh, more mystery boxes and some coal. Nice. Oh, full inventory. More coal. Let's just see if this is something that will fit in my inventory. Clay. Winter root. And these mushrooms I don't already have, so I can't collect those. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Um, 
let me use a totem to get down to the night market, if I have one. Would be here, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm really late tonight. I'm gonna get my coffee. Check out the traveling cart. Squid. Oh. I need a squid. Actually, it might have uh, gone away, but let me check that in a second. Eggplant. Uh, didn't I? I thought I had this rare crow. I thought I just saw it on my farm while I was collecting mushrooms. Maybe you could buy multiples? I've never really noticed before because I've never really been that into the scarecrows. Let me just check out this person over here too. Yeah, I don't see anything I'm that interested in. I'll run over to the fishing thing and the submarine and do some fishing, finally. Yes. I love seeing what's on the line before you reel it in. Midnight squid and a treasure chest with Earth crystal and eight copper ore. Great. I need a blobfish. I want to make a fish pond and put the blobfish in there. I forget right now what it is that they make that I want, but I definitely want a blobfish. And I didn't go for that chest because I'm so bad at fishing.
Oh, I also want one of these too. I think I may already have one. But I want a fish pond of super cucumbers also, and then regular sea cucumbers, because I use that. Oh, sea jelly. I use the super cucumbers for lucky lunches. Ooh, another blobfish. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We're going to have to go home. We might end up passing out. I find that I have so much I want to do with Stardew, and the days are just so short, and I never have time to do everything I want to do. get sent home, at least we'll pass out on the farm, but I'm not going to be able to make it all the way to the house, I don't think. Oh, nope. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you join me again. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.